Thank you for staying with us. We're back from the break and now we're with John Duncan. John, we've known him, we've met him from Dolos and now he is part of AIM at the heart. AIM for the heart. AIM for the heart. AIM for the heart. Tell me about this. Um, it's, I, I really like this project, honestly. Uh, main character, Amy, um, has a brutal, I guess you can call it second, uh, second identity uh, that you see throughout the series. Um, the love interest of that main character, and it's uh, it's an interesting dynamic for sure. I love the cast, uh, I love the crew. It's a lot of fun, and I don't, I don't know. You may see uh, some different directions that my character may go throughout the show. A lot to look forward to. Well, we just met Emily, who plays Amy, and we got to hear that uh, she kicks butt. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she definitely does. And so hopefully she. Uh, the rest of you, that to me. <laughs> Don't get her upset. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tell me about your character. Uh, how is it that you say uh, it evolves? You say it's got main levels. So we don't. We haven't really revealed too much um, about my character, his past, what he's getting into, etc. Um, at this point, I'm I'm just a another college student uh, that goes to school with her, and um, we we kind of hit it off. Um, had some some moments here and there and it's it's pretty much just been that kind of school dynamic yeah yeah tell me about yourself you've uh, been active for a while um 25 uh, i actually live here in el paso but i've been uh acting since i was 19. i don't know i just kind of always loved the way that you can put yourself into another character and to be someone else and it's another challenge you know because uh, I mean, I feel like every day, a lot of us are are acting our everyday lives. You know, when you when you need to put on a face for a business meeting, or you have to meet with clients, and it's just a, a personality that you de- that you develop, and that's a really good skill to put into acting. It allows you to become who you need to be. So, when you're becoming who you need to be, are you thinking of oh, how would that person be, or are you thinking how would that audience expect him to be? It's a combination of both. I mean, you would think about what is that character's mannerisms, uh, the way that they speak, the way that they're going to carry themselves. For example, my character, I actually take influence largely from Jeff from Community. Uh, he's got this kind of calm, cool, collected um, persona, but at the same time, he just doesn't eat. It's kind of laid back, doesn't take it too serious. Um, but he very much plays the, the, the cool guys, so that way, if if I'm in the mindset of, of the love interest, this is what the audience will both expect, as well as the way the character would act. Okay. How did you end up in this spot? Um, so I inter- or I casted for Aim for the Heart at Bazaar, uh, Bazaar Models over on the west side. And uh, originally, I, I kind of looked into this part for the most part because they said they needed it. was, uh, what was it? An, uh, an attractive white male. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it was very specific. And I, I, was, I was thinking about it. There's not very many other white actors around yeah, here. Yeah. So I, I guess I kind of looked right into that part. But well, luckily, I do feel like I fit in with the character well and the way that you would expect him to be on camera. And I, 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 don't know, I like putting myself into that character. Are you saying privilege is a thing? <laughs> that's cool well, i'm glad you're you're on board i i like i said we worked with you before i like the way that you work and i'm sure you've been a great asset to this project as well up to as you were with dolos i love uh, dolos project do you see uh the future of uh aim aim at the heart or for the heart tell me what what the future there holds for you just off the first episode, the pre-screening that we saw, it it was it was amazing. I'm I'm really looking forward to the results that are going to come out of this. Um, the directing work and all the time that's being put into the editing and everything is amazing. The uh, just the, the story itself is phenomenal, and I really like the way that it comes out on screen. I really do. I'm excited for everybody to watch. Do you, can you tell us a little bit about how it ties into the movies? Um, so my character doesn't so much tie in. Uh, at least maybe not yet. But, <laughs> uh, and, it, it it's more of just like a like a subplot spinoff of supporting characters um so it gets to the point where it's just like it's because it's our mandalorian you know mm-hmm. so you take a main a main character and it's a spinoff of their organization or their faction and it's just to focus more on two side characters to give them their own story you know and uh, you're playing John, right? Uh, Jonathan Schuster, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, can't give away too much about my character, but looking forward to everyone finding out and watching. 
And before we let you go, anything you want to sell us? Um, so make sure you tune in April 9th on the CW. I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing this. Should be fair, man. Thank you so much. Excited. Thank you very much. Stick around and we'll be speaking with Billy Towns, the creator and director.